Hello and welcome to another episode of In the Studio with Prime 8. I think this is the third episode. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> I th Actually, I just looked it up on here and it, I think it is. So, um, yeah, the album is coming along nicely. We just had my friend Mishley in on Thursday. She was recording a guitar solo for a song called Judgment. Um, that went really well. Uh, I got some footage of that, but I won't be editing that into this video. I'll do a video for that song properly at some point, uh, and that'll be in, in that. Um, but other, the way, other than that, the, um, we've now got a, a day, set release date, um, for the, at least for the digital version. Um, that will be coming out on the 30th of July um, this year, so 2018, unless you're watching this next year or something. Um, so that's going to be good. Um, we've basically got all the songs down. I just need to do a few more overdubs and some mixing. Um, hopefully Nini Cat is going to do some more work on the album. Um, so yeah, it's all going really well. Uh, everything's... I'm really happy with how it's sounding. And yeah, it's been a, a long journey with this one. Well, actually, it's been quite a quick journey when you think about the fact that the first Quagars album, it took 10 years to, to really make it from the beginning of writing songs to, to finally getting them all recorded and released. And the second album took, what was it, six years? So this one has done quite well considering it's only taken three. Um, but there's been a lot more of um, a lot more of me putting more work into it, obviously, because it's a very personal concept album about my transition. Um, that's made it a lot more um, challenging, but it's also been more rewarding because I think that um, you know, for the first time I'm opening up a lot more in my songs, whereas on previous records there's been songs that. Uh, not so much that they're not personal. I think everything you write is always going to have some kind of personal connection, but they're not going deep uh, on the first couple of records. There's maybe a couple of songs, but it's it generally fairly well um, hidden, I guess is the, is the correct, correct sort of way of saying it, in that um, they're not directly coming out and saying things, whereas on this album I'm directly coming out and saying things and talking about you know, so sometimes some very dark subjects, um, but also the very positive subjects of... Basically, the album is going to be split into two halves, which makes sense for me being a vinyl freak. Uh, there will be a vinyl release, it just depends on when I can actually afford to get it pressed. Um, but that's um, kind of how I'm planning it, so side one is kind of the dark side and side two is the light side. Um, you know, so it's, Basically, side two is the happy ending. Um, but yeah, it's all coming along great. And uh, I'm going to preview you a little bit of uh, the song Judgment that Mishley was working on. I don't know how well you're going to hear it. The speaker is just down here, and I'm not going to dub it over. So this may sound terrible on here, but it sounds a lot better for me. So here you go. <laughs> There's like 30 tracks of audio on here. <laughs> We got a bit carried away, we, we usually do. So. <laughs> I might just skip it into it. Coming up now, uh, we've got uh, got Ray, Sir Raymond. Uh, I met him through Autumn. Who is, oh, of course, he's. Um, I met him through Autumn. They're um, they're dating at the moment. Well, they're in a very serious relationship, which I believe is going very well. And they're both lovely people. I mean, you know, Autumn and I are very good friends. Uh, she's actually co-producing the album, 
And yeah, so I met Raymond, her boyfriend, and he's we've been this great guy, and he's got a great voice. So I thought, well, why not get him in on the record somewhere? And so I sent him the song. He wrote that verse. He just heard a little bit of there, um, and he sings the main part, and I'm doing the, the harmonies on it. And yeah, so um, then I'll skip to a bit with Mishley. I can get this in the right spot. <laughs> So yeah, that's um, that's judgment anyway, um, and um, I think that's turned out really well. So yeah, Mishley was great, was great to work with. Um, obviously, she could act, she's local, so she could actually come into my studio and all that. But with with Raymond and with all of the other guests on the album, like obviously Autumn is they're both on the other side of the planet. Nene Cat's in Oxford. Um, we've got Wolf Queen on another song. She's in. Sheffield in England so it's very much an international album and so it, it was different having someone actually come into the studio to record that solo um, so yeah everything's been really a lot of fun and everybody we've worked with has been great um, I'm now going to play you another bit, a preview of another song which you can hear if you look at um, I don't know if the people that follow this for the music also follow my Simiana Swings In the gymnastics videos, but this song was a, is about gymnastics, and so I put it on my recent gymnastics videos. It's on both of them at some point if you want to hear it. But anyway, so here's a bit of When the Rocker Learned to Roll. I know it's a goofy title. <laughs> So yeah, that's when the rocker learned to roll. You can hear that in full on the um, the, the gymnastics video, or the last two anyway. Um, and uh, yeah, that was um, originally that was originally a different song. That was originally called Drive By, and it was going to be on the dark side of the album. Um, and that was about when I would walk down the street and get her not harassed, but I guess you could it is it's harassment um, by people in cars and all that sort of thing. Um, and I just sort of thought, I kind of have already touched on that kind of thing in other songs, and so that was kind of scrapped, but I always liked the riff. So I thought, well, I want to have a song about gymnastics on there, because it's been a huge part of my transition. And you can watch the other videos about that, I don't need to go into it. But, um, so that was, um, it was good to have a song on there about that, and I wrote the lyrics for it, and I wrote too many lyrics for it, which is unusual for me, because I usually do struggle with the lyrics. Uh, the music side I'm always can write easily, but the, the lyrics were sort of come, usually come a bit harder. But that one I had too many, and the lyrics were originally paced a lot differently. So basically, verse one and two was verse one in the same space of time. It was just sort of sung a lot quicker, and it just wasn't working. And I thought, well, I'll try singing it like that, and it worked. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed those couple of previews of new songs. I hope you could hear them okay. Um, and yeah, the album Evolver is coming out on the, uh, as I said, the 30th of July. It's not a difficult date for me to remember because that's also my birthday. So as a 35th birthday present to myself, um, you've got that. So uh, and hopefully the vinyl won't be too far behind. Again, that's just down to funding. Um, yeah, so um, what else can I really tell you? Okay, that's, uh, I think I've covered everything. I could probably preview a couple more songs, but I'll save that for another time. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to. Uh, if you don't, then don't.
um, uh, there's, there's the thumbs up thingies and all that sort of stuff if you if you like or comment or or ignore completely whatever you want. <laughs>